to another Python tutorial. In this Python tutorial, we're going to be going over, um, as it says in the title, how to run your Python code from a command line. Command line being this here. Um, command prompt, of course, um, CMD. Um, and so to go ahead and do this, we actually need to um, <coughs> import SYS, which is a library that gets from command line. Um, and we're going to write a main function. So main, and in main we're going to go um, and have item equals none, and uh, no, we don't actually need that. We can just go ahead and go function equals um, sys dot argv um, one, and that's going to assign the first value. Uh, so it, this works like a list. So the positions of a list are um, zero, one, two, three, four, so on. Now zero is always going to be Python. This is going to be your file name, and two is going to be your parameters or functions, whatever. And three and four are going to be your whatever functions, I don't know, depends what, how you want to do it, but it works like that, you can pass in however many parameters you want, you just need to give it the correct index, so 1 is the second value in the list, or the second value in the input, so now we're going to check if length of sys.argv is less than 2, then we need to say um, <clears throat> you haven't, oh, sorry, print, you haven't, oh, you haven't given enough info. And we're going to make it equal to actually, because if we just give it the file name and the, um, and the library, so Python, and then the file name, um, it's not going to work anyway. So if we give it just Python and just the file name, we haven't given it enough items and so it can't run through the rest of it. Actually, no, that's fine. Else, um, if function, actually no, this does need to be in here. So function needs to be put inside here, because otherwise it's going to throw an error if it reads that line and there's nothing there. Even though I know it can't read that line because you haven't passed the file name because that is the, f oh no that's the function isn't it? Yes that's the function. Okay, I've got this wrong, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so the way it works is 0 is, is equal to the file name. 1 is equal to um, first parameter and 2 is equal to second parameter. Now obviously first parameter is going to be our function call in this one and second parameter is going to be whatever we pass into that function. So currently one is the function name. So if function is equal to whatever we decide to put here, then do that. Now, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and make another function. So we want to go ahead and define, say, calculation. And we want to pass in two things, n1 and n2, which is number one and number two. And what we want to do is we want to go answer, equals num1 plus num2 print answer so now what we can do is we can go ahead copy and paste this into here so if it's equal if ooh, if we have that calculation added in there now if the function is equal to calculation it'll go into that function and then we can go ahead and be like if length 
of um, sys.argv is less than 4, then print, um, say, say in this case you want to print um, sys um, argv 2 because we want to print whatever the first parameter is, right? Um, just because we obviously want to be print if if you were to add you say you passed in you went to calculation you call calculation and you called 10 you only put one parameter in you'd want it to print out 10 because 10 plus 0 is 10 right so we wouldn't want it to throw an error and so that's what that case is otherwise the else case is oh my bad otherwise the else case would be num one equals num two equals and we can go ahead and do this um, can't quite remember how to do this right. there is a way that you can go ahead and write on double lines but I can't remember how to do it All right, never mind. Uh, three no two and sys dot arg v three calculation num one and num two now what we need to go ahead and do is down here we want to print out um, we want to ask it to run that function so if name uh, that needs to have two underscores either side of it equal to main then call main all right so now we have done everything we need to do within this function uh, we should be able to get rid of that get rid of that and it's a bit more compressed now um, and we can also get rid of these lines at the bottom. What we want to go ahead and do now is open up command prompt. So we've got our command prompt here. And what we want to go and do is type in our command. So we want to go um, change directory programs. And then in here we want to go um, python command.py calculation 10. Um, and uh, 40 say so that should output 50 uh, which it doesn't and I know why this is um, it is because we have not defined these as integers currently they are strings and so it's concatenating rather than um, concatenating rather than adding so if we go ahead and run this again you'll see now it adds them together and outputs 50 um, I can obviously change this and be like yo 70 and we'll get out 80 or 25 250 yeah 320 there you go so it adds together whatever those two items are and you can go ahead and make more functions by adding more if statements here um, I can just go ahead and be like <coughs> ooh, uh, go down like this so I've got another if statement here. We're going to go an elif um, calculation m, which is multiplication. We're going to grab exactly the same one here, and we're going to go define um, calculation m, and in here we're going to do multiplication. Um, now, something you probably would want to change is the way that you detect whether this is in here because this is going to output zero um, actually uh, we can actually test this now um, let's bring back out command line oops I seem to have closed it okay hold on one second
Let's go calculation M with 10 times 2. So we should get 20 here. Uh, that's, oh. Wait a minute. Hmm. That is awfully strange. Maybe I need to go ahead and save it. Okay, let's try it again. Why is it? Huh. Both of those functions are adding for some reason. N1 times N2. Should theoretically. Let's check that this is the right function. So we're going to go ahead and put an M in there and only pass in one item. Yep, that's the right function. And 2 should get 20, but it gets 2 for some reason. Is it because. No. Um... Ah! <laughs> I didn't actually call the function. <laughs> uh, we're still calling the old function. Right, there you go. <laughs> oh, that's bad. So we got our 20, our 0, because 10 times 0 is uh, 0. We can go ahead and remove that. We got our 10, because it's printing out whatever that first number is. And we can go ahead and put a 20 in there, and it'll do that. We can go ahead and add a negative here, and it'll do that. So that's how you call functions from within... Um, within Python. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Alright, hello there guys. Um, you've obviously made it to the end of the video, uh, so you've obviously enjoyed it or had to watch the whole thing at least. So if you could consider subscribing, that would be a great help to my channel. Um, if you have any suggestions for future videos, make sure to drop them in the comments below. Um, like the video to show your support. Uh, to me so that I can know whether you like the content that I'm making um, and yeah